This video from Sharper, we're taking a look at the factory reset procedure on your XCA213 or 302 registers. Uh, so in this video I'm using the 213 but the process is the same for all machines in the range. Um, so usual warning up front, factory reset, the initialization procedure that I'm about to demonstrate will return your machine back to factory defaults, out of the box defaults. You'll lose all sales data and all programming information, everything from PLU prices, tax rates, dates, times, receipt header message. It'll all be gone and the machine will be back to um, how it was when it first came out of the box. So if this procedure is correct for you because you're selling the machine or you're starting a new business with the till, then, then carry on. If not, you can stop watching. And the procedure is really basic. It's covered in the manual uh, on page 9 under initialising the register. And all you do is with the machine um, in the reg mode, turn the machine off at the mains and then basically take out the batteries. So the batteries are, I've done a separate video showing you where the batteries are, but obviously they're in the little compartment here behind where the till roll sits. I'm trying to prise them out without getting in the video and blocking the view of everything. Pop the cover back on so you don't lose it. And then all you do is once you've taken the batteries out is turn the machine back on at the mains. It'll come up and say MRS on the display um, and then it'll beep three times and that's it. That's the procedure loaded. It comes up and says no battery um, but that's it. So now if you're um, I'll tell you what, I'll prove the point if I ring a sale through. So this was previously programmed with Thatchers. It now just says PLU1. The receipt header can confuse people because the way the sharps work is it's printed my old message on the last time it rang a sale through, but now the next one, so that's a, that, that was already printed. Now it will say, thank you, or sorry, your receipt, thank you. And the date's gone back to the 1st of January 2000. Uh, quite a while ago and the 0, 0.00 for the time and then the other way of proving it to yourself it would be to run a um, report either an X or Z report and that's all back to zero so you know the machine's wiped so if you're looking to program the machine because you're setting up a new business and you want the, or you've got a new menu and you're reprogramming the till check out the video links and the playlists appearing on screen now because they show you how to do it otherwise if you're passing your till on to someone else or selling it um, good luck with your new venture and yeah, thanks for watching.